Hello everyone, this is Todd Bailey. I'm the CEO of Herbal Mana. And today, I wanna to talk to you about one of nature's best kept secrets for managing inflammation. And that is frankincense. You may have heard about frankincense. We'll dive into enough details to make this worthwhile. If you've not heard of frankincense, you're in for a treat. Frankincense has been used for many years. It goes back thousands of years, used in ancient rituals, used for all sorts of healing and treating bodies. Currently, it can be used topically, internally. You can even diffuse it, which is pretty awesome. In fact, I've got a diffuser with frankincense going right next to me here. It's very grounding. It has all sorts of other benefits, but what I'm particularly interested in today is the anti-inflammatory impact of frankincense. Now stay tuned, I'll get into the science and I'll talk about how this amazing resin works to help with your health. It can be a real game changer for you. As far as frankincense, it's a great alternative. In fact, it's a better place to go than some of those nasty over-the-counter drugs. Now, some of the over-the-counter drugs can be great in a short-term situation. For instance, you could have an over-the-counter anti-inflammatory, like a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, which can be really helpful, but only for a short time because of the nasty side effects that come with it. There are side effects that come with those, and we want to avoid the side effects. And we could do that with frankincense. Now, the reason we're concerned about the frankincense is the, the ability of frankincense to reduce inflammation. Inflammation itself is at the root of so many of our chronic conditions. And I'm not just talking about chronic pain, not chronic joint issues, chronic muscle. It goes well beyond that. It affects us in other ways. It's behind arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, all sorts of disease states involve inflammation. So we want to get that inflammation under control. And as I said before, you could use a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, an NSAID, to manage your symptoms. In fact, I used to do that quite a bit. I would do my best to get a hold of prescription anti-inflammatory drugs when I could for my doctors and doctor buddies. I would also supplement pretty generously with over-the-counter drugs. I would use Aleve and ibuprofen. Unfortunately, they have nasty side effects. I would, uh, I would use a leave and I would use it pretty high doses until I would have internal bleeding. It just tears up your uh, gastrointestinal tract. If that occurred, I would stop leave, then I would switch to ibuprofen. And then I would go through that same path and it is not a good path to be on. Now I could also introduce some Tylenol, which is a set of medicine, different problems. That's a, gonna turn into a kidney problem. Also, these medications only mask the pain. They don't clear up the inflammation. They don't clear up the underlying cause. And in fact, by masking the pain, you can set yourself up for all kinds of problems. When I was in high school, I had some knee issues already. I'd had a knee uh, surgery as a sophomore. In my senior year of basketball, I just wanted to play. So I talked to my surgeon, and yes, I already had a surgeon as a teenager, and he gave me some drugs. I think they were NSAIDs. They might have been Percodan or Percocet, but whatever it was, it didn't heal the underlying damage, didn't solve the problem that I had with my knee, but it masked the problem. And unfortunately, I was able to play. Well, fortunately and unfortunately, I could play, which is what I wanted. As a teenage kid, I just badly wanted to play basketball. The unfortunate thing is that once I had to go off the meds, we found that I had terribly damaged the knee. I had worn through cartilage so badly in my left knee that I was bone on bone at age 18. I had my second surgery that year. So I had a surgery as a sophomore in high school and a senior in high school, and I was already in bad shape. I was already a good candidate for a knee replacement, at least a partial replacement, but I had 30 years of waiting. My doc was already saying, you're going to wait till you're 50. Just put up with it till then. Unfortunately, I went down the wrong path. Years later, I found that frankincense, especially when it's combined with DMSO, dimethyl sulfoxide, could have provided me the pain relief that I needed without tearing up that knee, without trashing my internal gastrointestinal tract, without all those problems. Anyway, back to frankincense. The history of frankincense, it's a long history. It's an interesting, interesting natural substance. It comes from trees. If you go to the Middle East, parts of Africa, you can get frankincense from trees. 
they are from the resin of the tree. You can make little cuts in the tree and then some resin will seep out to seal that cut. It's that resin that we use to get the frankincense. From that resin, we get Boswellic acid from the Boswellia trees. This is the same frankincense, the same Boswellia swords you can read about from the, uh, the Magi. They brought that as one of the gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, frankincense being of great value back in the day. For us, it's of great value because of the Boswellic acid, which has powerful anti-inflammatory properties. Now, when we extract that from the tree, we take the resin, sometimes we call those the tears, and then through steam distillation, we can remove the frankincense essential oil. And we might end up with a cute little five milliliter essential oil like this. In fact, if you go to our website, you'll see this is what we use. We sell this and sometimes give them away as gifts. Occasionally we'll have 15 mil. So it's getting a little bigger, not too bad. But when we're serious about making products, we buy it by the liters, sometimes multiple liters, mouth gallons. This happens to be frankincense serrata. Frankincense comes in quite a few different strains. They do different things. We'll typically blend frankincense to use in our products like frankincense DMSO gel, where we're combining the DMSO and the frankincense. Anyway, let's get back on track here. The boswellic acid, that's the key for frankincense. The boswellic acid will target specific enzymes in your body, like uh, five lipoxygenase, which is responsible for the production of inflammation causing protein or instance. When frankincense inhibits those enzymes, it'll reduce the inflammation. It reduces that, un, or reduces that underlying pain and irritation that can be a nice signal when you have an injury, but when it becomes chronic, it's not a good signal anymore. It's showing that your, your tissue is damaged. It's in an inflamed state. It's continually at risk. We've got to get that inflammation tamped down and under control. Now for the uh, frankincense, this is not just a folk remedy, although it's got its roots going way, way back in time. And you can find all sorts of stories about its use. We can go a little deeper than that. We can do a little better. There are just gobs of, of peer review studies that have been published. Now, my favorite place to go for published research dealing with things like frankincense and other awesome things that we can use in our products I like to go to PubMed. PubMed has studies that are peer reviewed, meaning if I do a study, if I'm a scientist, got my white jacket on, my white coat, I'll do a study, I'll write it up, and then I need to give it to my buddies to see if they can get the same results that I got. So I like PubMed. In PubMed, you can find many articles talking about the benefits of frankincense from diffusing it, using it topically, using it internally. And the evidence is clear, it is awesome and it takes care of well inflammation in all kinds of uh, disease states rheumatoid arthritis osteoarthritis inflammatory bowel disease even even uh, asthma and it is a powerful thing to have in your natural medicine chest now the boswellic acids themselves don't just reduce inflation they also inhibit the production of content uh, compounds like the leukotrienes that I mentioned, which play a major role in inflammatory disease. We've got to keep inflammation under control, or we're going to go beyond just sore joints, sore muscles, and end up with all sorts of other uh, diseases that have their root in inflammation. What we want to do is harness the power of frankincense. And we do that with various products like this frankincense DMSO gel. We put the frankincense with the DMSO for a couple of reasons. Frankincense itself is phenomenal for inflammation. DMSO, also phenomenal for helping with inflammation. If you put them together, you're gonna to get a nice one-two punch, but it goes even further. DMSO helps the frankincense to absorb faster and further through the skin into the underlying tissue. So we like to put them together. We like to have the frankincense and the DMSO so that we can treat the sore joints, the arthritis, the inflammation, those frazzled nerves. It's really helpful. In fact, speaking of frazzled nerves, uh, on the emotional side, frankincense is very grounding, very soothing. It helps with emotions. Even putting it on topically will have an impact on your emotions. It's not just about the pain, not just about the inflammation. It's also about the mood. 
Now I use frankincense with DMSO and some other things on my face all or not all day, but every day on my joints. I use it before the gym. I use it after the gym because I need to get that inflammation under control. Now, personally, I've had, uh, well, I've got quite a history. I've had 20 orthopedic surgeries and a few broken bones. In fact, I was asked just today, what happened? Why so many? And I tell folks when they ask, bad genes, bad luck, and bad judgment. Altogether, I've got quite a history, but I can tell you, I'm a lot better off today than I was a decade ago. Decade ago, I had a lot of arthritic conditions, quite a few joints that were involved. In fact, I was to the point, it, it didn't just feel like arthritis, it felt more like early onset rigor mortis. If I would mow the lawn, go out and mow the lawn for an hour, my back, my, my knees, my shoulders would just ache. In fact, I would be aching for a week. And that is not a great way to live. With uh, herbal mana, we want to hurt less, live more. That's our tagline, hurt less, live more. That's why I use the frankincense. That's why I use the DMSO, so that I can control the inflammation, so I can get that benefit of lowering the inflammation and the underlying pain so that I can get back into life. Well, I hope you got something out of this. Uh, subscribe, click, like, all those sorts of things. We'd love to have you as part of our community. Love to have you tied in. And I'd love to get some of these uh, products into your hands, especially the, the frankincense, the DMSO. It's just awesome. All right, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a good day.